Fishing for River Monsters, season three, episode three. Just now getting it started, guys. We're already on episode three of season three. That's pretty cool. And I'm out here with my buddies right here, Chance and Jake, and we're gonna go out here and we're gonna catch some big ones. So anyways, if you guys are wondering, look how foggy it is out here. I mean, you can't even see a salt. We're about to have a train come by, I can hear it, but we had to idle all the way from the boat ramp. I didn't even film any of that all the way out here. It probably took us, what, 20 minutes? Yeah. 20 minutes to idle out here because it's just it's too foggy for my comfort to be driving out here especially in the new boat because i don't have any trails on the new grass but we're going to be starting in this slough right here and we're going to go back and see if we can find any big fish this is actually the first ever episode i filmed on the Agichi river you guys know i filmed a bunch of fishing for river monster videos but i have yet to film one out here on the Agichi, so i'm excited about it let's go ahead and hop into it. if you're new to the channel smash that subscribe button hit the notification bell and also, smash the like button. Let's hop right into it. Should be one up in it. Is that a spinnerbait or is that a jig? Swim jig. Swim jig. Oh, he just had me right there, dude. Already. He could grab the butt of it right there. Huh. Yeah, throw throw right right there. You see that little current break right here from that slot. Should be one. Another one there. Oop. Spinner bait. Ain't a bad one. Look at the colors on that. That's not a bad one. Heck yeah. Look how th thick and chunky he is, man. <laughs> that's that's what I like about these bass guys. Look at the, we've been out here for what, 10 minutes? Look at that. That is a fat, chunky, beautiful Geechee bass. Look at the colors. That's what I like about these fish out here. Monster spinner bait. I just picked her up. We're gonna throw her in the box. We'll get a cool picture at the end. Look at that water, guys. See that? black water well there we go boys we uh we got us something that's a good little sign right off the bat he munched the spinnerbait right up chartreuse and white colorado blade putting off a little bit more thump and this water's not even that dirty you know it's like that it's like that brownish black looking water so you can see my bait in it right there it's not dirty it's like how would you even explain this water Oh, 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 spinner bait bite, baby. About five minutes later, look at this one fighting. Whoop, he ain't bad. A little fatty, he ain't as big as that last one, about a pound. Look at the colors on that thing, he freaking munching it. This is about a couple minutes later, right after that last beautiful bass right there. Pretty colors and the Ogeechee River bass, you can just see about all the markings on there. Just hanging out in this water just creates that beautiful color on this fish. Look at that, Chance. You see that? You see them spots on it? Yeah. What is that? Uh -huh. Look it's at that, Jake. tail, too. Look. Look at that. Mm-hmm. What is that? That's weird, no eh? Idea. That's a chunker, though. Beautiful guy. Honey mustard or some shit on there. <laughs> I was thinking about that the other day, dude. I'm bringing out next trip. Matter of fact, I got some cheese sauce. You want to put some cheese sauce on that? <laughs> Long story short, when the Parkers, man, I'm like, I want me some chicken tenders. Just, just, you know, I need something to munch on. I tell them honey mustard. And listen, I want, if I eat chicken tenders, I'm, I'm giving me some honey mustard. Just how that works. They give me cheese sauce, dude. Cheese sauce. All right, you want to dip some in there? <laughs> no, you will put some cheese sauce on that thing. Oh, I'm serious. No, no put some cheese sauce. No, you, you, want, you want some cheese sauce? Dip your thing in there. Come on. Come on. Dip her in, Chance. I'm, you think you're laughing? I ain't kidding. Dip her in some cheese sauce, man. Just give her a little bit of. There's no way. Why would you give somebody cheese sauce with chicken tenders? Hey, see, look at that. You got to add the cheese sauce. Now you'll get bites. Don't ask me why they gave me cheese sauce because I don't know. I was kind of mad. And then I asked her for honey mustard and she's like, oh, we're out. So I was thinking in my head. So instead of giving me honey mustard, you give me cheese sauce. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. You like cheese? 
Oh, come on, man. Don't make it hard on me. You like cheese? You like cheese, Chance? Yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah, yeah, if you put it on something. Yeah. Like, you put cheese on your sandwich? Yeah. Yeah, so you fish like it too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna hug both sides. Just kind of watch. Watch this side mainly. I think I'm good. So you rub the grass, honey. Exactly. Mm. That current, man. Should be one right here. Yep, he is right there. That's a decent one, bro. I mean, serious. Oh, it's a striper. <laughs> it is <laughs> on a spinner bait, dog. I was just about to say, I was about to pick up that crank bait. Oh, beautiful little striper, Ogeechee River striper, spinner bait. This is actually my first one I've caught out here. We're sitting back in this little slough that we came back in. I think it was too shallow back there for this time of year. You just got us a beautiful little striper here at the mouth. What's happening is the tide's going out. If you notice, I want you to watch this. So the boat's sitting right here, no current. It's a big current break right here. Watch when I cast. All right, see how my line's going? Look at the current whipping right there. This striper should be loaded up. Should be another one. Those stripers live in that current. If you can find any spots like that, striper pinpoint all the fish up, all the bait right there. So we started off on that long stretch where all that current was finally starting to come out. Caught those two right off the bat, went to another little canal spot, very tiny slough. Um, we could barely even fit my boat back in there. Got in there. I think it's too shallow for this time of year, so we hit a different spot with some rock. Nothing, not even a bite. So I don't know what's going on. We started off really good with the spinnerbait bite. Um, we're just trying some different stuff right now to see if we can kill off on some of this time when the tide's going down. I think we're gonna go fish uh, a different slew back over here that might have some big ones. What? He got you? He got you. There you go. Let's get it. Are you bass? <laughs> yeah. There you go. He ain't big, but he got you one. Get him. Golly. That's a good one, dog. I'll get the net for you. you want to? Come on. What are you doing? Right. You fighting hard? That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, gosh, dude. Get my clean net. Yep. Dude, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the colors on that. Lukey. Oh, my God. Dang, boy. That's a good one, man. Mm -hmm. That's a good Ogeechee River fish. Look how fast. That's a, that's a two pound fish in a one pound body. Look at that thing. That's a chunk, dude. <laughs> he said you, you said you're going to throw a fluke all day. All day. What you got to say about it now? Yeah. yeah. It's going to stay in my hand. Yeah. That's a good one, bro. Good job. All right, Chance, your turn, man. What you doing? Guess I'm throwing a fluke. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they would eat this crawl if I can get it in this little current breaks. There he is. Oh. You bit a crawl. That's the first bite on a crawl. It's gonna happen. Like this one right here. That's a good one. Oh, he came off. Did you see the size of that one? That was a little bit bigger than yours. Dang, dude. On the crawl. Oh my gosh, in this heavy current, guys. He just literally caught that solid two. And that one is about two to two and a half right there on the crawl. What we're targeting right here is, I don't know if you guys can tell this current, I got my trolling motor on 10. And you see these little tiny current breaks that we're tossing in? Right here, you have this current whipping through. We can barely keep our boat here. And right up on the grass, you have these slight current breaks. I can't believe I just missed that fish, man. That was a good one. Those fish hang off in those current breaks. I haven't had a bite on this crawl on day until that one right there. And um, mm, that was a good one too. Just didn't have it all the way. But this is a big current break. There should be another fish right here. Yep, he's right there. Yeah. Dude, that's actually a good one. Uh-uh. I got him sideways or something. Nah, you're good. He ain't bad. Oh my god, look at the <laughs> look at that thing. Oh my gosh, dude, that is a fattest little turd. 
I've never seen a bass like that. That fish is literally would barely push a pound, but he's almost he's over he's probably over a pound and a half. Hey, in these current breaks, boys, we catch them on this tide that's going out. We've had what? How many bites of good fish too? We're gonna keep it going. I'm gonna put him on this side. So this is what's been working for me on the Savannah River. Obviously, we fish a total different way out on the river, Savannah River than the Ogeechee, but this is the same prawn right here, and this is in black and blue. And if you guys notice, this is very important, and uh, not many people talk about this. Normally, if you're pitching around some cover, some laydowns, and stuff like that, you usually have a peg. So it pegs your weight to your bait, okay? So this would go in that tree and you won't get hung up and all that nonsense. It seems like it minimalizes it. Well, it's important when you're fishing in this current that you don't put a peg on it. But you guys are probably wondering why, but when you throw it past that current, this right here is gonna have more free movement. So this bait's gonna look a lot more natural coming through the water right there. And that'll trigger literally about five, 10 times more bites because that bait's just so much more natural. If you have that peg on there, and the current's pushing that bait, it's not looking natural. But right when you unpeg it and you have it free like that, it gives it way more natural movement. Current's whipping so bad. How about that gave people anxiety right there? Pro TI in the water. That's a really good one. I'm gonna flip him in, Chance. Oh. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Boy, we catching them. Prawn, look at that one, dude. That might be the biggest. It's about the size of yours, ain't it? I think it's thick. I promise you this fish over two pounds, guys. He don't look like it, but he's, they're so dense out here. Some about throwing this in that current and just filling them just the slightest current breaks. There should be one where I just cast it. No way. All right, Chance, throw it there, buddy. Dude, that was money call. I mean, he hit it as it hit the water. Dude, this is crazy, bro. Guys, if you're watching this, fishing, River Monsters episode three, I think is the best one yet. If you guys want want us to come back out on the Ogeechee, I'll take these two boys too. Look at, look at he's so fat. Uh, he's probably the smallest one we caught out here, back in here. Uh, the first one you caught. Dude, this is the most beautiful. Tell me where there's another beautiful bass like that. Cause I just don't know. Right on front of that, you see how it's really calm? I threw to the left of it, but throw right on the front. Make like probably five casts there. Okay. Oh, snap. Biggin? Get him on this side. Oh, yeah. Boom, baby. <laughs> there you go. I he was right there, it, wasn't he? He had it as soon as it hit the water. Oh, look at this. He's off the hook, bro. Look at that. Wow. Bro, that's a two pounder chance. Hold him up to the camera. Let's go, baby. Chance in the game, he was right where I caught that one, wasn't he? Right in the front. Right? He's on the front, yeah, God. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy, man. Three minutes later, look at that. Look at that, God. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I'm doing here. I um, got a Texas rig, like I said, not pegged. Got the prawn on there, black and blue, great for this water. As you guys can tell, we're back in this beautiful slough and all the currents coming this way. I actually have the power poles down right here. And this is a perfect example of the types of places that we're catching these fish. So as you guys can tell, all the currents coming through. And then if you look up there on the bank, you're gonna notice that it's calm water. And what that means is that's a current break. So what those bass do is they'll hang in those current breaks and it can be the smallest thing. It can be a tiny little tree, or it can be some of the edge of this grass, edge of the mud, and this fish will hang off in it. So what we're doing is we're taking, he's throwing a fluke. Chance has been throwing a crawl too. And we've been running with this guy and we're throwing him right up, boom, right there on that current break. And we're just dragging it off very slow. 
and we're trying to pinpoint those specific areas because we can fish anywhere out here if we start throwing right there show them that ch chance we won't catch any see all that current whipping by they don't they're not hanging in that they're hanging in those breaks so it's very important to look at those little places like that and that's exactly where that bass is sitting down it replenished i wish i got that on gopro god dang it dude that was a good bite he's right where he should have been right there oh yeah baby Oh, oh, chance, woo! Chance, what? <laughs> Yo. He's still so heavy. Come down. Yo. Look at that one. That's a pretty one. He bit me the cast before he slammed it. Sorry about the train, this thing. Going oh, crazy. Main river. Bass pulled out right there in the current. That is a fat guy. Little fat guy. Not a bad one. He was up there. Little current breaks, main river. Look at you, you're so cute. Mmm. Fat, fat, fat. That's insane. So beautiful too. We ain't putting any more in the live well. We got way too many. But I know we could probably cull one out with these, but they are fat. Living on the main river, beautiful colors. Beautiful bass. Puts up a good fight. There he is. Dude. Holy cow, that's a good one. That's probably the second biggest today. I get him. Mm, baby! Two and a half pounder. Same spot. Yeah, he was. Look at that. That's a good one, dude. Mm. I hook set him and my hand started cramping hard. I'm like, hold up. I like grip my, my thing like this. So I was just mowing him in. Big and get the net. Seriously. No, oh, he ain't that big. He ain't bad. Oh god. Yeah, he's bigger than I think he is. Mmm. Dude, that's almost a three-pounder, dude. Oh man. Yeah, he was up on right where we were just talking about. So if they're gonna be anywhere, they're gonna be on the side of this stuff, and he drilled that thing. I thought I had a very big and look at that. That's about a two, two and a half. All right guys, here are the bass right here that we had in the live well. We're gonna get these beautiful fish back in the water. The colors on these fish are just awesome. They're still healthy. Everything's perfect about them. Let's get it back in the water.